if we start with a basic slider crank which can be schematically represented like this so it has a crank over here and on the other side it has a slider and if we fix link number three which is this coupler over here then we get the third inversion of slider crank like this so here is its schematic representation so on one side of this fixed link we have a fully rotating pin so on this side we will get a crank while on the other side we have a partially rotating pin so we will get a link which only oscillates the resulting mechanism looks like this in its bare essential so our input is this crank so it rotates at the end of that crank there is a slider as the slider moves along a circular path it drags the guide with it so this guide only oscillates back and forth next we are going to make this mechanism little more useful by adding a few links like this so here we have added a link at the end of it we have fixed a tool which is constrained to reciprocate along this horizontal path now as the mechanism moves the tool goes back and forth so it reciprocates and like inversion number two we can get a quick return characteristic over here the quick return ratio of this mechanism can be evaluated using the two extreme positions of the guide which is usually a link with a slot in which the a slider slides and these two extreme positions are nothing but tangents to the circular path of the slider like this so this is the path of the slider and these are the two extreme positions of the slotted lever and again here we can see the angle turned by the crank during the forward stroke shown in green and the return stroke shown in red are unequal because this will be usually connected to an electric motor these angles directly translate into time because electric motors rotate uniformly and the ratio of these two angles the forward and the return stroke angle will give us the quick return ratio let us follow the links over here to see this mechanism in 3d and in action uh, there are two manifestations first we will see uh, the crank slotted lever quick return mechanism so this is how it looks in 3d So we have marked these angles the green is the return stroke and red which is a larger angle is the forward stroke instead of using a lever with a, a slot we have used a cylindrical lever and instead of uh, the slider we have a sleeve which slides on it but essentially the mechanism or the characteristic of the mechanism remains the same let us now go to another manifestation so we will follow the other link and that takes us here so over here we have we have what is called as a oscillating cylinder engine so here we have the crank fully rotating crank that's our input attached to that is the piston and the piston is moving back and forth in a cylinder which is free to oscillate this is used in foot pumps as well as the oscillating cylinder engines so these are some of the practical applications of slider cranks inversion number 3